Welcome to the Herman Online Training Academy. This is a video for the Rollmatic T. Today Adam and I will be showing you how to wire the control board, set the limits, safety edges and program the handset. Please ensure all work is carried out by competent persons and all connections should be carried out with the power off. If removing the plug, final connection should be made by a qualified electrician. We're now going to look at how to wire the Rollmatic T with a wireless safety edge. The first thing we're going to do is to remove the cover. The mains wiring is factory fitted. Here you see the connections for the motor. You've got earth, brown going into one, black going into two and blue going into three. This is for a left hand motor. For a right hand motor you need to swap the brown and black cables over. Terminals 8 and 9 currently have a link in them which needs to be removed. Remove the link and replace it with brown going into 8 and blue going into 9. This is for the safety brake. Finally we have a safety edge receiver which is factory wired into the control panel. Brown going into 16, green going into 20 and white going into 21. The safety edge transmitter is factory wired with a yellow tag that prevents drain on the batteries. We are now ready to turn the power on. We are now going to program the mechanical limits for the Rollmatic T. Programming should only be carried out by competent persons and all adjustments should be made by hand. This is the adjustment tool, sometimes referred to as a wand. On the operator there are two potentiometers. A red one for the open limit and a white one for the close limit. To adjust the amount of travel, insert the tool and rotate to the positive or the negative direction. Each adjustment should be followed by pushing the appropriate directional arrow on the control board until you've reached the desired limit positions. Finally, once the door is set to the correct opening and closing positions, Turn on dip switch 1. This turns the operator into impulse control. We are now going to program the wireless safety edge. It's important this is only carried out by a competent person as removing the cover will expose mains voltage connections. First remove the cover. You'll see a program button. Press the program button on the receiver until you hear a single beep. Press and hold the transmitter button on the safety edge for a few seconds. You'll hear another single beep. Press the program button on the control box again to finish the sequence. You'll hear two beeps. That's the programming completed. If you wanted to delete the safety edge transmitter from the control box, for example if you were replacing it, you need to press and hold down the program button on the receiver. Whilst holding it down, short out the two terminals with a screwdriver. The unit will start to beep slowly, followed by a rapid beep. Press and release the program button again, you will hear two beeps. The wireless safety edge receiver is now back to factory setting. We are now going to program the 433 MHz transmitter. Please note this should only be done by a competent person as removing the cover will expose the mains voltage connections. Firstly remove the cover. You will see a button marked learning and an LED marked number 3. Press and release the learning button. LED 3 will start to flash. Then press and hold the button on the handset. LED 3 will increase in flash rate. Release the handset button, then press and hold the handset button again until LED 3 flashes even faster. Release the button on the handset and wait for the flashing to stop. The handset is now fully operational. Should you need to delete the handset, press and hold the learning button until the LED flashes rapidly, then release.
The handset is now decommissioned. Thanks for watching this presentation.